Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Gaming with Blockchain. I'm your host, A AmineU. So, we are ready for another week of updates and what's going on in the EOS and WAX. Hope everyone's been having a great and safe week. Um, North America now, we're just on our uh, Easter holiday. Uh, if you celebrate, it's supposed to be our, you know, for some our long weekend, some are off on the Good Friday, some, some will be off on the Easter Monday. So we have a chance now to just kind of catch up on things, and again, like I said, I've been working on trying to give you as much information on the, a general aspect of what's going on in the gamification uh, realm of, of blockchain, and some of the benefits, and NFTs, and DeFi, all these little things, while still concentrating uh, as some core games continue to develop. So we're going to kind of start, start off, and we're basically go in reverse um, and leading to a kind of segue of where things are, are maturing over time. So let's start off right now We're look, uh, looking at a project that I'm interested in. I haven't had a chance to watch and participate in the recent drop. Uh, so bad on me there for definitely. Just like I said, so much things happening, but doesn't mean I don't like the project. Um, I appreciate what they're doing. I like the style. This is, again, this is all preference. This has nothing to do about uh, being a sponsor and advocate for you to, you know, go ahead and, and, and buy these items. It's, 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 it's encouraged if you like it. This is all about sharing information and, you know, for you to also discovering something that you find appealing. So here's a project, like I said, I, I do like. They had a recent drop, um, uh, uh, sorry, a recent blend last week and earlier this week, and they called uh, one based on wax, and the other one is uh, astronaut. And they did some really cool stuff in, in their styles. And you can see with this particular piece, this was a whole wax piece with a back end, it's official art. Uh, collection again, all based on these original styles that they're starting with uh, to eventually build a bigger pr portfolio. And you can see where these prices have now changed. If you were watching anything from the previous ep episodes, these price points for most of the basic uh, tools, if you will, or the ingredients were about the five dollar, five wax or dollar, two dollar fifty price point and now you can see if you created a number five uh, that's about a thousand wax um, we're looking at all these blends at 90 you know the number 93 of the OG one is about 14 to 15 dollars US um, the cans have increased in cost and this is a number 774 so you can just imagine and I will put lead to this, and you may wonder why is one can a difference again? It's a price point because the numbers that you use to make the blends also kind of affect your outcome. So if you're looking to have a high mint um, out of your blend, you want to probably blend a, a number five card with a number five gra graffiti NFT. So a number five can with a number five NFT hopefully will yield a number five blend. You, you know, if you're looking for high mints, you want to have these combinations uh, available to you. So this is what's going on. Um, like, like I said, I haven't put in any of my uh, blends yet. I haven't gone and got the wax portion yet. You can see where these price points lie. Um, but again, this is a project that's gradually building momentum and it's still relatively early uh, gaining it, into it, if you so desire. So hopefully, once I get more wax, because I haven't done that either, um, I could get into this and, and add to uh, my portfolio that I have at this moment, which then leads to uh, project number two, which is, again, something I haven't been part of, really, but doesn't mean that they haven't been doing a fantastic job in building their platform. This is Blockchain Heroes. They're doing a lot of new uh, initiatives, coming down the pipe. Um, the one that I mentioned already, working with uh, Upland, and there's others that are uh, evolving. Definitely something to, to check out if you're into the collections. And again, these are not all based on game theory um, in terms of everything being a game element. Sometimes it's just about how these cards are part of sets or how they eventually be blended and, and, and merged together. So some u unique artwork, really talented um, styles and, and, and unique features. Uh, 
but like, like I said, I can't say I've I put in anything in terms of buying a pack. Um, I should have maybe like I say hindsight 2020, but it doesn't mean I can't. It doesn't mean anybody can't at this point. If you find something that's attractive and you 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 take a second glance and you look into it again, you may you may find something appealing and and decide that you uh, find it worthwhile. So that's a project there as well. Um, now we're leading into, like I said, I'm just going backwards, we're leading into other features, but I just want to touch upon uh, something very important that, you know, was a discussion as we go into our planet. And, you know, they were saying, okay, well, you know, I've had all these other discussions off scene, and part of it's been, okay, well, what about the coins and how, you know, it's valuable and, and you know, the whole NFT market and are you trading or selling? I'm not a trader, but, you know, and so I, I make sure I make that very clear. I'm not giving any, any financial advice. It's all about an opinion. I'm working on the, what I've done historically. It's, you know, art production and pro project management. That's my style. I don't do day trading. I don't have the patience for it. I, I'm not interested in it. Um, I know you could make possible money, but it's just not me. It's simple as that. You know, people do whatever appeals to them. Um, my style is more of the, you know, wait every three, four months, kind of reevaluate, reevaluate where things are, rebalance the portfolio, um, and then actively be involved in the projects that are very appealing and very attractive. That's just me. Some others could be entirely different. So really, I try to stress uh, with all the other discussions I have, to find your find your niche, find something that you can craft and forge as your own and, and that you find appealing. I'm offering things that I find attractive and hopefully maybe you do too and you can benefit from this information. Great. So now we're going to look at our planet. I did do a craft um, from the last time we were here, I crafted a, it was, it was a tornado and, or was it a brick wall? I can't recall because <laughs> again, it's been a while, but, uh, yeah, tobacco, sorry. And then I crafted a wave or it was a wave and then a tobacco. Sorry, my apologies. Like I said, it's been a while with a few projects. Like it's a long process. Here's the charts that we have right now on what's been moving in terms of what's coming down. And you can see now new elements have been added and where they stack in terms of the numbers. So right now, these the, ca the carrot, the cabbage, the dark glass, they're done. I, even if I wanted to try to craft them right now, I couldn't do it. The, the amount of eight, Ether would have been reasonable, but I wasn't part of this project, wasn't focusing on the project, so I didn't catch um, the advantage of utilizing at the lower point. Uh, again, it's, it's about where you put your focus, right? So if you don't put enough focus on one, you may miss out on uh, another opportunity. So here is the clay and the uh, tsunami could definitely maybe do one of these two if I wanted. I'll have to look at where my staking um, value is <clears throat> and maybe add to that. But you can see as things move on, the tiers are starting to add on. You're now looking at that's possible of a tier eight. These are, are, these are significant. If you're, again, paying attention and getting involved, there's, is it about being active and, and, and showing what sh what kind of attention you can put into it. So after this uh, video, I'm probably going to attempt and look at and go, okay, which ones can I uh, attack and then move forward. So as I said, it all depends on what you've accumulated in the ether, what has been discovered, and take advantage of it. All right. And it's been going well. The, the projects that have been moving along, when it comes to staking, they've added the crypto stash that's been added, uh, catacombs has been part of their new uh, contribute to the staking pool, which I will find here. And I thought they were added already, or that means they're probably coming. So th I guess it's just a matter of them getting all the information in place and locking in, and you'd be able to stake. Oh, Bitcoin Origins has been added. Um, so that's recently uh, a new addition. Uh, Cobol, 
Colo block has been challenging for some people because they've introduced um, stillborn when it comes to breeding. So the mechanics of that has, hasn't been ideally attractive overall, but again, still an option. So I right now have 1.1 of ether to claim available to me to do these elements um, if I still choose. So I'll confine and a, a storm if I wanted to do the storm. That's an element that's still available. I have room to, to play there. And that will probably maximize most of my aether. Then as well I have uh, well I can't do the fireworks. I could do the grenade. I have no I cannot do the grenade. No probably I could uh, if I combine what I have in my actual wallet versus what hasn't been claimed yet. Um, there's also the possibility of doing a boiler. So there's, there's options here I can uh, tackle as well. Um, and then a few options here in the T7 category. So you can see what will be possible if I were to move forward and add another element uh, and tear up in, in the rewards category. There we go, where that's concerned. So that's our, our update where the our planet lies. And now we're going to be moving ahead to Uplift. So Uplift is now moving on to another uh, kind of portal or sector. Um, they're just getting that pre prepared. Where that leads and how the, the sale options will come along, that's yet to be determined. But you can now prepare to buy generous rewards in terms of pay it forward. If you're buying any of these um, NFT uh, images or, or artwork, they're contributing to the pool of when people play the game. So if you want to contribute in that manner, <coughs> this this is the process to do it. If you, and, it and it helps the game. This is up for everybody. You, you basically, you put in something to kind of claim it back later on in incremental uh, value. And you can see all the details that are here. You can see what's left in ter in terms of what's available, and and the options that it provides. Right? It, they'll have three rail plots for each one, and this is more the gameplay section of the Uplift um, World uh, Megaverse compared to the Uplift community. And we'll we'll just get into that portion in a moment. Um. It's, 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 as I said, the proceeds go to fuel the rewards pool of the uplift world. These are once in a lifetime opportunities. It's just part of the support mechanism that they're, they're looking to, to share and, and, and develop. If you now look at the community cluster, remember I had mentioned about what it, all this means, and this is now the community sector. All these communities have now been involved in building their um, worlds, if you will, and this is what it's going to look like roughly. I'm not sure if this is, this is finalized as yet. I know there's another cluster moving, and I think that cluster is the game cluster, like I had, had mentioned. Um, but you can see where the majority of these uh, communities are now been put in place. You have, like I said, you have Crown that's there. You have uh, Discordia, which is new to me. I have not seen them before. Horrors, um, uplift art. Uh, so some are, are unfamiliar, some are, are are quite familiar. Crypto writer that I just got into that um, I I missed part of their uh, selection. The blockchain heroes that we just looked at. So you can see how it has evolved, and there's some areas that are still open, I believe, for later um, opportunities for other communities to kind of join in, and these rail lines are all the travel points between this whole map that everyone can be part of. So this will be exciting. Apparently uh, through the news there's a individual or a group of indiv individuals that right now own about 5% of this uh, particular cluster. Or if, it, if it's not the community cluster or the game cluster, I'm not sure which one, but 5% <laughs> is quite significant. And so, and then there's even more of that information coming down uh, the pipeline. So now we're going to move forward, and we're now going to look at the DAP radar, what's been happening in the last seven days. 
and we're looking at the overall map here, or I should say the last 24 hours. And last time it was a kind of toss between Alien Worlds and Upland and Galaxy Blocks, and that's been a tussle, and that remains. This is like a, a week later. Alien Worlds is now taking the lead, Upland second, and Galaxy Blocks third. But it's been very, very interesting knowing that, you know, the EOS and WAX has been the p predominant uh, gameplay uh, mechanisms, and the, here we are, we, we wrapping up the t top ten. You still have uh, our planet and prospectus, and as well cola blocks. So there's there's still quite and oh, crypt Dynasty, Dynasty, which I haven't touched on at all. So if you're looking at at alt alternative chains, they exist. They they do, and they're here, and um, the gas fees are not as um, pragmatic. Even though I know ETH is now working on uh, off-chain solutions or alternative chain solutions, um, which will be <laughs> very good for that ecosystem. They need it. This is what's going on now. This is moving forward, and it's, it has great potential uh, continuing onward. So now we're going to move on to Alien Worlds. And first I'm going to present Crown. If you remember about Crown, they were looking at how to bring governance. So Crown, Lisa Chandler, is going for Velus, which is like fantastic woman in charge of a planet. So there we go. What what else can we can we say? Uh, here's the news that we have here. Her name is, uh, I am Lisa Chandler from Cranlandia. I am running for Velus for the people, the miners, the landowners, the place managers. I'm planning to relax and work together to guide the AI to create sustenance for all. Please join me. And this is all the information about what you can do at the uh, Alien World. And this is, let me go back because that's not what I wanted. Thank you very much, YouTube. So we can see the advancements moving on, and Alien Worlds is now trying to establish all these particular um, guidelines. So this is still their login. They still haven't had, ha we haven't yet received any presentations outside of what each candidate is trying to do. But then again, it's just early. We're just getting uh, the feet on off the ground, and we're moving forward with it. This is more the governance news, as I showed as I showed you last week. But what's happening too now? Alien Wars is attracting just traditional I investors. There's been several um, articles that sh have shown interest into in Alien Worlds, and and part of it is because of this governance and the mining opportunity um, that's moving forward. So everyone's been now uh, going, okay, let's possibly pay more attention to what's what this world has to offer. And that's now raising more interest. And so you can see the gaming aspect is has a dual functionality. I and I'll probably put an article about this. You know, blockchain gaming overall is like an iceberg. You see you're seeing one surface of it, but until you're ready to go and dive and look below, you won't you won't imagine the magnitude of of what is there to to utilize and expand upon, and this is what everyone's now catching on to and, and going, oh wait, we have maybe have to review review this a bit more and look into this uh, a bit more and and, re and reevaluate what we can do here. So that's what's going on, and this is just good news as a player, um, as uh, you know. Anyone who's in, who's vested into the game, this is just fantastic at moving forward. And what has happened in in Alien Worlds? Uh, from April first, they launched that they'll be doing um, one free digital game pack for a user out of the blue, just randomly given. They get an airdrop, and that works on b both worlds. So this is this is even more of a bonus to to mine. You may now get a full random pack, a uh, card pack, instead of just an NFT, a pack of, of Alien Worlds, <laughs> and you, you never know what you'll un unbox or unwrap uh, once you receive it. So, uh, needless to say, the mining probably has increased significantly uh, because of this announcement. So now, what's this all mean? We are now moving on to the Upland, and 
what is Upland and what's been happening in Upland. So Upland recently had launched their um, Upland cards. And this character here has been the first that sold out in about 15 minutes. This was called the Wizard, something that's known as possibly the Blue Wizard. This Blue Wizard has been in the community secret. No one knows who or she is. Uh, well, I assume he, because uh, I think most people have been using that uh, pronoun. And the, a philanthropist who's been offering generously um, support to all these communities. And I guess in return, or when I imagine in return, in appreciation, they've then created these iconic figures uh, representing this, you know, mystery uh, individual. So a plan with Blockchain Heroes has now created a similar character for the Upland universe and sold out. It was only a quantity of a hundred and out they went. They were gone before you knew it. Um, I know I did not get one. I was not uh, one of those lucky uh, players to receive it. I did not, uh, wasn't in time to participate. But now, we, as we're looking at it, you can see what's going on um, with Upland. You can see what's going to be happening in the Upland release next Tuesday, April 7th. Oh, uh, sorry, April 6th. They are going to be releasing two halves of this release of these cards. Um, one in the one in the afternoon at noon, one at midnight, or I should say 11:59. Um, part of this collection for Upland, Upland's unique style. I remember I had mentioned this before, this is going to be part of that. And with some of the Mystic cards mentioned here in some of the reviews, these block explorers will be transported, again with that portal that they were talking about, that you can now part and own that explorer inside the game. So this is where the stars and the rankings will be. That top five ranking means there's an explorer or block explorer inside that can be ported into the game for later use or however you want to uh, utilize it. You have the posters, you have stamps, you have postcards and illustrations. Again, significant to the game's uh, unique uh, features and unique kind of characteristics. So this is what's going on. I'll have this in the show notes uh, that you can take a look. You can see the price points for the cards once they're in the packs, I should say, once they're released. And that's going to be happening. There we go. Uh, April 6th, the 50% par- pack and um, going on sale. And then you will wait about 24 hours before you'll be able to unpack any of these. These will not be unpacked right away. You will have to wait until the day after the final sale to have these released. So now what does it all mean? Before we get into the um, Upland itself, I want to actually add something in terms of their Easter. They're doing the Easter launch this weekend because it's their second annual Easter celebration or Easter event. And this time they're going to be doing this in every city. Now can you imagine that? Um, that last time they did it, it was only available in San Francisco. So we're going to look at this pre- quick uh, video here, or we're going to probably just view it, I should say. And we're going to look at their, that's not what I wanted. Let's go back. I want to see something that's very, very brief. There we go. This is the video from the Rico overall Christmas Convention in Hamilton. My name is Exo the Gamer. Let's do this. First up, this week we updated our roadmap for 2021. That's right, 2021 is off to a great start for the Upland Metaverse. So let's scroll forward and we're going to scroll forward here and see. Okay. I'm looking. Looking for the Easter. Nope. Didn't see the Easter edition. So 
let's see if I can find that again. And I do apologize because I am just doing this live. I am just recording it, this as we go. And I'm trying to catch the Easter segment. Um, and do, 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 coming 154. So let's see what we hear here. There we go. So there you go. You see a full recap of what's going on in terms of the Easter week weekend feature. This is happening in every city. Um, so there you have Fresno, you have San Francisco, and you have uh, Brooklyn. Each city is going to have their e equal amount of treasures or I wish to say rewards. And it will be interesting to receive. Monday is going to be the, the larger Easter hunt, which is then the traditional uh, option. You will be able to go through and register and find um, clues and look for a special um, icon or a special egg, you know, the spark eggs as they call it here, and, and kind of, again, celebrate a second annual event of this uh, particular um, feature that comes along with the prize. So you can see what all the details here and I'll be adding that to the show notes as we move forward. So there's a lot going on in terms of where you want to put your, your time and again just apply it accordingly. It's nothing right or wrong, right? So what has happened in the map for 2021. Everyone had a question. Everyone was anticipating because April 1st kind of closes Q1 and, you know, okay, did we accomplish whatever we needed to accomplish? So the key term here is agile. This is the key, key word that was very significant in uh, their announcement back in January about this whole roadmap. And, what, and it's great idea that they've implemented that term and that word because there's some delays. Yes, Spark Token wasn't released, property management wasn't released, the structure NFT wasn't released. And why? Well, if you remember and you've been watch following uh, closely, Brooklyn. Brooklyn uh, was overloaded. <laughs> as simple as that. Brooklyn was overloaded. And they had to kind of address that promptly and which meant everything else took second uh, precedence. Simple. So everything is now skewed back a few weeks. I'm anticipating, if anything, end of April, early May, maybe sooner, maybe later. But it's we can do know that everything's moving forward, and it's just it's, you know it's progress happens in its own way. So now I'm going to go to the game, and we're looking over at the game, and you'll be, you won't be surprised. I had a pinata floating over on my screen. Possibly I, I walked away, didn't find it, it got reclaimed by somebody else. Ah, well, what can you do? But, what was supposed to happen here at this point, if we're looking at our, <clears throat> excuse me, our assets here and stuff like that, you'll start seeing all these special kinds of um, blog explorers that have been dropped in. And what's started to drop in is the burn um, explorers that have been started to release for the Brooklyn um, situation. So here we have one and you can see it has the burn uh, element added to their block explorer. And so that was this a special edition ad feature part of their part of the the block part of the Brooklyn uh, situation. So that's now being slowly dropped in everyone's account so that they can utilize it and, and, and display it as part of their navigation when they're floating around and finding new properties to search and, and, and purchase likely. So what's been happening here as you can see Brooklyn is now becoming more and more condensed. It is really 
really spawned quite r r rapidly. It, and then you can see that that means the properties that were locked are gradually becoming unlocked. The FSAs are still there. That means it, only for FSA players. But all these other properties prior to that that were kind of blocked off are now opening up and making the opportunity for other people to purchase available. So if I were to look around some, some certain neighborhoods, I can see if there's something that I find attractive or if there's something I would I would kind of find appealing. Again, looking at a cluster or looking at a neighborhood, what's going on, what's the appeal about the potential of it. I can try to match it to a real world uh, area or I can say, okay, what would be uniquely different? So this, let's say if you look at Borough Park, Borough Park is a big area. It's pretty huge. Um, so what would be here that would be worthwhile? I could look at the Upland uh, World Data Matrix or the Uplander data and say, okay, what is what is the, the percentage of properties sold, property bought, how much more properties are left to be minted in this area, and try to make an educated, uh, not so much a guess, but a, a, a strong prediction or assumption what would, what would be in future, the likelihood of how this neighborhood or how this region may develop later on. So it's 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 really up to everyone to kind of apply the same kind of analytics if they want to uh, see this long term. So now what I want to add as we wrap this up is now look at uh, new decks quickly. And just go and see what what it means in dollar value. I know I've been asked about this as well earlier before, and I want to kind of briefly bring this up um, overall, just so that again it's been said. Oops, Alcor Exchange, Alcor Exchange. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And there we go. So we're just going to see where we can do some charts uh, for the best point. EOS was at uh, one point before, I could say maybe about a month ago even, uh, half of this particular cost. Um, if I, you can see all the pairings that it's associated with and how that affects kind of down the line. EOS has gone up against the USSD uh, stablecoin. Um, other coins have kind of fallen back behind it. If, I, if we look at Alcor and we look at the markets overall, you can see WAX uh, at the point right now um, against all these other coins with WAX. You can see how the changes have been very, very different. And there's a lot. <laughs> I mean, there's even more than I anticipated, in all truth. Um, Wax have got, has gone up in term in in reaction to, I should say, in actual reaction to the market anticipation of what's what's happening. Right. So this is price against EOS. Wax is about. You know, right at this point, maybe 33 cents, 35 cents. Um, before, again, about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, it was about zero six, zero seven cents. So t you can see t Trillium has now replaced what the wax was about six weeks ago. You know, Aether has a ways to go in terms of increased value, um, but it's still on the rise, it's still positive. EOS against uh, wax against EOS is about 0 0.37. There's other um, coins have now been brought in. Crown has made significant gains. So you can see um, that the reaction kind of plays into the anticipation factors, and that's where the values of, of wax has 
and EOS has kind of fluctuated in, in, in a positive way. It's not as fluctuating irregularly. It's just been growing um, in a moderate uh, progression in relation to, as I said, the anticipation of what's moving along. As I said, there's a lot of things happening, and there's many things happening behind the scenes, and I think that the the expectation is that the the coin values will, all, of course, reflectively increase uh, to match. So, if this is where you want to see the particular gains or your dollar value, then definitely this is worthwhile and this is worth watching. So I, I'm just showing it to you so that you're aware of the of these markets and, and can sense the. I guess trend or or buy-in. Okay, do I want to buy in now? Do I want to kind of hold uh, any staking options? Your your DeFi options, like I said, like I had mentioned before. If you're looking at staking, that's part of DeFi. You're putting your assets um, in hands of another particular custodian, but you're getting an exchange of particular value that then you can again utilize and turn over. Yes, the turnover right now is extremely high for Aether at this particular stage for the moment, but again, it's all about time. Remember, the, none of these projects have been around longer than th three to six months. Like These are sh very short-term uh, projections or short-term values that we're looking at. Wait, let's see what happens in, in eight months or in ten or even a year. Something's going to change uh, as the games mature and 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 hit their stride. So that's about it as far as where we stand today. Um, like I said, I'm going to try my attempt on the Easter event uh, this coming weekend, Sunday. Oh, what are odds? You see two sunglasses hovering around together. Um, I hope this is you find this information. I know it's not the most dramatic dramatic kind of intel. But it is, again, it's just keeping you informed of of where things are moving along, so that if you have any kind of points of view or or concerns, this is the great time to to bring them on. Again, we're the, the games, all of the games are still hitting the infancy. They're still still picking up the stride. There's not a point where it's ultimately ultimately too late. And moving forward, I'd be possibly be part of another project uh, to help educate the underserved communities in terms of understanding the NFT market, un really understanding the gaming mechanics of uh, gaming with blockchain and advantages and disadvantages. Yes, primarily with this uh, focus on the ETH, uh, the, the ETH, the EOS and WAX area, probably partnering partner, partner with someone else who's specializing more on the ETH side uh, and kind of sharing this collaboration um, with the communities to again really kind of focus more on not just the overview of what I've been touching on here but definitely more on this NFT portion of it as well I remember I had touched on it and it, it could become really really detailed so I may be p watch the show notes or watch the posts Th those that kind of information may be coming along. Coming along, I'm just looking to fine tune some details to make sure that it's it will run just as smoothly as I'm I'm hoping it will. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I know it's not the most informative in terms of really dramatic detail, but I hope it's informative enough that you kind of pique your interest. Maybe you go out and look for some more information. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, decide where you want to kind of gauge your your asset holding. Um, it's really about <clears throat> feeling your way through because it's, again, it's all still early. So hopefully, uh, by next week, some of you will be able to show me and and post that you got some of the uh, upland cards. I would definitely like to hear news about that. If you if if that's what you're interested in, maybe the blockchain heroes. If if what if that's what you're interested in, in as well, or you know you probably the lucky ones who got the Alien Worlds drop pack. Definitely let me know. I will definitely uh, look to hear from you. Uh, thank you as well too. And I almost forgot in my uh, which was prompted in my messages, which was very new. 
Pink K Panther. If you watch this and you are listening and reviewing it, I'm glad to know that you were on board. This is probably the first time we, we started to get notification about our referral links. So, you know, I definitely would like to hear more of anyone who's been able to, to bring their their experience to Upland. And if if you have, you know, post it. Tell me which property you bought. You bought. I'll definitely come by and give you a visit, <clears throat> depending on where I am, of course. So follow, share. Until next week, we'll be touching base shortly. Have fun.